So today we're going to be making the wooden Wookiee lightsaber. Of course, this one's actually made out of wood, made out of craft foam. So the materials listed in the description box below, so check that out and let's get started. So you want to start by taking a cardboard tube, such as an old wrapping paper roll. You just want to cut that down to size. I cut mine to eight and a half inches, though I just eye everything up so this may not be exact to the dimensions in Star Wars. Then you just want to push that into some craft foam, the end of the tube into some craft foam so you get the indentation. You just want to cut out the resulting circle. And then you just glue that right into the end of the tube. And then paint two or three inches of the end of the tube, metallic silver, and paint that circle as well. And that's just metallic silver. And then take another piece of craft foam. You want that to extend about an inch beyond the silver side. Then cut two strips of craft foam. I'm just using two or three millimeter craft foam here. Put a little glue on your strip and wrap that around the non-silver end of your tube. And then take the other one, put a little bit of glue on that, and wrap that a little bit back from the end of the silver. So you want it touching the silver. And then lay that out on your rectangular craft foam again. Fold it up just like a hot dog and a piece of bread. And you just want to trace where it overlaps and then cut the edges following that trace line so that they go in a little bit. Then fold it in half and cut it at a point on one end so that the point extends down past the silver. But on the front side, you can see the silver. And that should wrap right around that now. Just pull a little bit of glue on the back sides of those raised strips and lay that glue side down on your craft foam and then continue gluing until you have the entire thing covered in that little craft foam blanket and then put a final line of glue right down the center where the two pieces come together obviously wait till the glue is cool, don't actually touch it while it's hot and that will fill in that crack so you won't see it once it's painted. So you should do the glue paint before you do this. I forgot to, but you want to put three coats of watered down school glue. And then once those are dry, paint some very thick gobs of black paint and then take some dark brown paint. And while the black is still wet, you'll just paint the brown on. And what that'll do is it'll pull the black out into the brown, which will give it that wood grain look. So it's very important that you do this while those black lines are still very wet, otherwise it won't pull properly. And you can put on as much brown paint as you need. If you see too much of the black, put on some more brown. And the inside edges I just did plain brown because nobody really see those anyway. And so there's the wood grain. You can see how the black gets pulled into the brown. It makes it look like wood. If you've got any lines that are too defined, just put some more brown paint on and Pull that black paint out a little farther. This is one of those things where you don't need any artistic talent to do this. So then you're going to cut the end piece out of some craft foam, and I do have a template for this piece if you don't want to have to draw it freehand. And you'll put a paper fastener on the flat side, right in the center, spread out the tails, and then paint the entire thing metallic silver. Again, I should have painted this with a couple coats of school glue first, but I forgot. And then take a rectangle of craft foam and round out the corners. This is also in the template if you need a guide. And put a couple of paper fasteners in that. One on the end and one a little farther up from the end. And then of course spread the tails out on the back side. And then you'll paint that metallic silver as well. And then cut out a circle and paint that metallic silver. You're just going to put a little bit of glue on the end of your tube and glue that right in there. Then you want to take a small cardboard roll, or you can also make this by just rolling up some cardstock and gluing it together. But either way, you'll just glue that little tube on the end right where you glued that craft foam circle. Put a little bit of glue on the end piece. Lay the lightsaber in it. And then put a little bit of glue on the sides. And a little bit of glue where the two edges will meet on the front there. 
and then just roll the sides up to meet and everything's all glued together. So then take that rectangle piece, put some glue on that and that will cover the crack where the edges meet. Take the rounded piece here, this is also in the template, and glue that on the end. And then take the tiny little detail pieces, these all get cut out of craft foam as well. And you just take these two little pieces and glue those in place, very carefully. And then I just want to take a scrapbooking bread, cut the tails off, put a little dot of glue right under the rounded piece, right before the little pieces start and stick that scrapbooking bread right in there. So then take some black paint and a very thin brush and paint a nice thin line across the bottom of the silver and then you'll paint two very nice thin lines towards the bottom edge of the wood grain part of the lightsaber. Now to make this look more like aged metal, I'm going to take some gunmetal gray paint and just dab that on with a dry brush. As messy as possible actually looks better. So you just dab that on and it gives it kind of that aged metal look and then the piece sticking at the bottom stays plain silver. But so this is what the completed lightsaber looks like. You know, lately I've been feeling like General Grievous for some reason. I can't quite put my finger on why. Hmm, 